Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Okay. Hello, welcome to the one who seeks. Where you are the one who seeks. What are you seeking today? It's been a while, it's been a while. I'm trying to get in my groove, my rhythm. Oh. oh, all right. Just want to start off by saying, um, I feel extremely impacted emotionally by what's going on in Florida. Uh, and my heart goes out to everyone for their safety and well-being. Okay, so... We need to laugh a lot more um, in this lifetime. Yeah, man, this energy just really has taken me over the past couple of days. As a wildfire victim, <laughs> as I say that, we get forest, muddled, unclear thinking. I understand the turmoils that people are going through right now, North Carolina, Florida, all the areas that are impacted. Happiness. <laughs> okay. So we got happiness. The sun, the birds migrating. It's time to move. Okay, for all you snowbirds, I guess, um, especially in the Florida area, September, so we just passed September, we're in October now, we also have the forest here up close, all right, so if we're looking at both of these, it's like looking at the details of things, a new perspective. We have chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. Right? It's like when you walk up to somebody, you say, is anybody sitting here? And they say, no, it's for you. egg success assured with good plans and hard work yeah right being prepared being prepared arrow you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life right and seeing you moving on again Moving somewhere else, moving quickly. And cobweb, protected from negative forces beyond your control. All right. Seeing the light in within the dark. Seeing the reasons why something has to happen in order for you to move on to something else. Okay. 
as I move these over here, I do want to put these together here. I feel like these go together. Okay. These ones go together here. Can put that one there. Let's see if I'm trying to get these all to fit. And I feel like I'm really slow moving today. And I apologize if you're in a hurry or you're trying to listen to this. It's just the energy in the air. Okay. Okay. See, I am worth it. We are fitting in this box here, right? We're very limited to the amount of space that we have and what is seen and what is not seen. And trying to navigate that. All right. So... I think I'm going to do my spread. I think I'm being called to do that. I haven't done that in a while. So the you, them, the relationship, the situation, what is unseen, the action you need to take, and the outcome that will come out if you take that action. Okay, this is you. The higher fence, seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, knight of wands. Yeah, so, you know, I'm seeing the, the traditions of the way you think you should be living your life are being mm, tested because of all this hard work that you've put through to be this abundant is actually going backwards, right? So like the traditions are being broken because no matter how prepared you are, you're never quite prepared enough. Um, <sighs> mm -hmm. because of like the doomsday preppers, right? You're putting in all those hard work so that you can still be abundant when you come out on the other side. But the water is toxic and it has also washed everything away. All the abundance that you've created over the years has been washed away. And now we are moving backwards and we are dry here, right? We're just back to bare land. Um, so even being in the most prepared situations doesn't always bring out the best results. Um, not saying don't be prepared. Definitely be as prepared as you possibly can. Um, but also know that that preparedness is not always going to bring out what you want or are expecting. Okay. This is them, the King of Wands, Six of Swords, the Tower, Eight of Wands, <laughs> yeah, 
I mean, I almost feel like this is the storm. This is the hurricane. Um, because <clears throat> it's very strong and it's moving to calmer waters and this is happening suddenly and very quickly, right? So it's time for you to escape. From this situation, the devil, eight of pentacles, eight of swords, and the chariot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so the relationship here is, you know, one of the devil for sure. Um, You feel like you're locked up in these chains. Um, you might be stuck somewhere. Physically, mentally. Trying to get away from this. Uh, and all you can think about is all this hard work that you've put through. To get to the point where you are. And now you're feeling tied up. You're blind. You're stuck. Um, from this blood right? So this is the serious star about the flood that happened. So yeah, this is definitely about the flood. Um, and having to run away from this very quickly having to deal with the situation of the abundance and all the hard work that you've put through. You feel like you've gone backwards here. Uh, you're needing to escape. And we, we need to be putting in more hard work, right? This is starting from scratch. This is remaking those pentacles, right? Planting the seed all over again. Okay, and then the situation is going down here. The Hierophant, King of Wands, and the Devil. Yeah, your strength is definitely being tested right now um, by Mother Earth, by Spirit. Um, I see the keys here. I keep seeing the keys. It's like it could be the key to your home, the key to success, the keys to start a new life from one key to another, standing your ground. <clears throat> you know, unleashing yourself from, <coughs> excuse me, from the devil's hands here. Feeling tied down. <clears throat> now I'm getting this very tickly throat. It's almost choking me. Okay, the things that are unseen are the patience that you need to have to get away and start over, right? This is going to take a lot of patience. This is gonna take a lot of time. This is not going to be a um, one and done thing. This is not gonna happen overnight. This is going to take many years to recover. And <clears throat> you just, you need to have that patience. Um, the actions that you need to take, the Nine of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Eight of Swords. <sighs> yeah. Um, it's time to take off the blindfold. It's time to take off the, the ropes here. Get yourself out of the situation, right? We even see the flood kind of dissipating here where you're able to walk through it again. Uh, it's muddy and murky. Uh, it's time to open up your eyes and see what's actually going on around you. 
Um, it's jumping out of that tower, right? Um, getting away from the danger and having some peace in your life so that you can get back to the abundance that you had. Um, and just maintaining that peace. And feeling abundant, re regrowing uh, your crops, rebuilding, starting a new foundation. Okay, and this is going to be the outcome here. Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands, the Chariot. the outcome I see you turning this around right we're going backwards here you need to be going forward so we're turning this around this those both of these are very fast movement um it's going to happen quickly right we have barren land here the water is coming back uh the land is kind of coming back to what it used to be what it once was so that we can actually enjoy it again, right? Rebuilding the castles here in the back, having um, the river going through, providing you with clean water. All right, we went from this murky water to this clean water. Yeah, you know, you even have like kind of a medical symbol here. You're taking care of yourself, taking care of others, taking care of the people in your village from this great flood here. Okay, and then let's see the timing of this. So the timing is the Six of Swords in the Tower. So Six of Swords, this is the Harmony. Um, six is Harmony. Swords is about challenges. It's in the fall as well. We are now in fall season. So it's right now. It's very sudden, right? Tower is very sudden. It's very unexpected. So yeah, this is happening right now. Um... I want to read this short meaning here because when I looked at it, I thought it said short warning, but it says short meaning, transition and progress. You are moving away from a difficult situation and towards a more positive and peaceful future. Yeah. And move forward with ease and grace. Okay. Moving on, departure, accepting lessons, distance, leaving something behind. Stuck in the past, returning to trouble, running away from problems, trapped. Yeah, I feel like um, that's where many of you are right now, right? You're stuck in the past. You're thinking about all the things that you've lost. You're returning back to your home after this flood seeing everything that's been destroyed uh you're just wanting to run away from these problems you don't want to have to deal with them and then trapped you might actually physically be trapped right now Okay, let's get a sweet ass affirmation right now. I love my inner beast and we hug until we heal. Your inner dragon, your chaos and madness is part of you instead of slaying your dragon. What if you loved it? Healing means coming to terms with your inner beast and giving it a sense of What? Sensual. Wow, that was like total brain fart. Couldn't even sound it out. Um Wow. That I felt like I just went to another dimension. I felt 
lost and out of control, felt judged, um, giving it a sensational, a sensual, see, I still can't even read it right. Um, sensual, I never want to want, I never, oh my gosh. Take a deep breath. Stop. Slow down. Relax. <sighs> Giving the beast a sensual, I never want to let your crazy ass go type of hug. Love it like your life depends on it. When your dragon feels seen and appreciated, it hands over everything it's been hiding. All the darkness you've been so scared of turns into fire in front of your eyes and lights up your new world. Danger transcends to opportunity. Look who's blowing fire now. Right, you're going to under overcome this. And I am only available for kick-ass things that makes me feel serene. Reserve your time and energy for projects, people, and experiences that excite, support, and fuel your growth. Make yourself unavailable for anything that makes you feel like poo. Rather than folding into the conformity majority... Right, the traditions. Be a little more selfish and demand the unique life you truly deserve. Be relentless in your truth. Stop caring about what everyone else wants you to care about. Ignore toxic people who aren't in line with your vision. Befriend, study, and help people who are. Create habits and environments that help strengthen your mind and allow you to thrive. From now on, you are only available for kick-ass things that make you feel serene. Capiche? Yeah. All right, so this might be you just moving forward, moving on, rebuilding, helping your community, not thinking about all the destruction so much as where can you help, right? Where can you help others? Um, which is going to help your mind stay off of what is going on. Okay, well, I'm drawn to doing these runes here. I haven't used these in a while. Okay. So we have... Lake, Lagoo, Lake, we have Man, Manza, Man, and we have Othalba, Heritage, And we have Eurus, power. Right? Yeah. So we have a lot of the Hierophant popping out here with the heritage. So this is, you know, could have been somewhere that you've lived your whole life and, um, You know, it's hard for you to see all your fellow men uh, going through this right now, right? And we have the power to help each other out. Because <laughs> we have this lake here, right? This lake that has never been here before is now standing in your path.
Okay. All right. Um, my heart and my soul, my thoughts all go out to everybody who's suffering right now. Um, the world is changing very rapidly. Um, and I think this is, yeah, this is definitely that tower moment. Uh, everything's moving so quickly. And I think we are going to come out with great abundance in the end of all of this. That doesn't seem like it right now, but the world does need a lot of change, right? We do need to come together. And I feel like Mother Nature is forcing us to come together right now since we are being torn apart by all these politics um, and people of power, right? Who shouldn't have power, who are not doing things for the best of mankind. So we need to individually be that power, that change for the better, okay? Yeah, you know, um, looking at that perspective, looking at things more closely, seeing how people are living. We're all individuals, right? But we are all part of the forest. Okay. So we need to come back together and heal each other. Okay. I love you all. Be safe out there. And um, if you have moved on from this world, they give you great peace in the realm that you're in now and hope that you are in a better place. Okay. Peace to you all. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.